Oh. What the f Uh, I, I have no ammo. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's let Connor duke it out with this guy and see how things turn out. <laughs> Resume. Okay, let's have Goldie help here. Oh, shit. Stay away from me. Poke you in the ass. It's a big ass. Thanks, man. You want a bandage? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the, the Rebirth Mod. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go out and continue trying to level our pipe and machine gun so we get the witch doctor, the second witch doctor fragment. Um, I did go ahead and install um, the, I, I've got a Logitech G403 Hero mouse, and so I installed G Hub and then assigned some macros to my buttons. So now I can just use Halt. my Resume. thumb buttons on my mouse uh, to control the dog, and it's going to make, you know, things go a lot smoother. Uh, all right, so let's see here. It is day five, and we really need to start thinking about the Horde Knight. Um, so, but we also, you know, it would be really nice if we could have our Witch Doctor abilities by the time the Horde Knight starts. Um, assuming, well, actually, you know what? I'm not sure if the mind control thing works on Blood Moon Zombos. Um, so, yeah, not sure. But we've had a couple Zeeks down below pastoring us all night long, so let's deal with him. I did make the level one sickle, and I did confirm that it's better than than the level five bone scythe. And you know, that's just a, another example of me still being in you know old school seven days to die mode. Uh, and it's not even really that way. I don't think in vanilla anymore either. But it used to be that you know you could get you could get a next tier weapon uh like for example you know go from an ak-47 to the assault rifle but have you know the the level five or six assault rifle still be significantly better than the level one uh i'm sorry the 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 lower level the ak could be significantly better than the higher level um assault rifle but at level one God, I really butchered that. The point being is that it's still that's still kind of stuck in my mind, but um, it it appears like both in vanilla and also here in Rebirth that a next tier, like for example, the level one sickle is going to be better than the level five bone scythe. That's really the simple way to say it. I don't know why the hell I didn't just say that in the first place, but sometimes my brain just gets scrambled. Okay, so um, we have really a couple of options here. We could go try and clear that building over that way uh, that I looked at at the very end of yesterday's episode, because it looks like it would be a pretty stout building for a horde base and maybe even um, our, our, our actual base base. But, you know, you kind of kind of don't want to shit where you eat, <laughs> as the saying goes. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. But... Um, yeah, we don't. We need to actually. We should eat too. So let. I've got this uh, chicken, chicken fricassee, chicken. Oh, quick a chicka chata. Okay, let's eat that. And I've I've got six uh, distilled waters. So let's get our water topped off. In fact, I might throw back a couple of those. You guys did tell me in the comments that food is not as critical in rebirth as it is in you know vanilla seven days i mean you, you still want to keep it who the fuck is that is that a survivor or a bandit his name's julian but julian could be a bad guy or a good guy um hello i'm gonna guess that Julian's not, at least he's not a bad guy. 
You cannot, what's that say? You cannot hire any more followers until you increase your charismatic nature. Show me your qualifications. Uh, with my gun pointed right in his face. Required player level one. Mining, he's White River Faction. He costs 1900 bucks. 32, 32 slots, nice. Okay, so yeah, um, that's another thing I'm going to have to get used to because I started this mod off on the purge and we don't have... Uh, wandering survivors on the purge. So we have to focus on uh, charismatic nature to, you know, to be able to hire these guys. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, and we're 11.3%, but that it, it looks like, you know, he's not available to us for, for a little while yet. I wonder though, if he's around when we're fighting Zeke's, if he'll help. That's a, that's a new Zom. I haven't seen her yet. Oh. oh man, that's so nice to be able to use the... Uh, the mouse button for that. Okay. Well, um... Also... I learned that I need to be looking in dumpsters for bicycle parts. That's the, the way, the good place to, to do that. Uh, we're not going in there. Hell no. That's a tier five. <laughs> that would be suicide right now. Um, oh shit. We got what appears to be a boss over there. I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but my screen skipped a beat too. Uh, when they spawned in. Oh god, that guy looks like a bad news. Um, I only have 17 rounds. I don't think we can kill him right now. Yeah. I I'm not I'm not messing with that. <laughs> Hell no. Not right now, man. <laughs> not with only 17 rounds. Let's uh Let's get the hell away from that. Okay. So, yeah, I think um, let's just keep doing POIs, looking around um, for potential horde bases that we could, you know, we could do, or places we could do the horde base on. The voc... I can barely read that. Vocational Center is what that says, and that's a level three. Resume. Right, let's let Goldie deal with the spider and I'll deal with this asshole. Hey, you're not supposed to be aggroed on me. God damn it. Oh. Resume. All right, you you deal with yo. I'll get Darlene's attention. Fucking ten foot hit, man. Oh. Resume. One more bite. Oh. Okay, that's working out pretty good, but man, we, we're down to 13 rounds now. Uh, all right, this is either a truck or a tire or a heavy tire, I think. It is, oh, it's a car wheel, okay. Let's see if we can get some honey out of this. I see some commotion off over that way. Resume. There's a crack a book. Halt. God, hold that head still. <laughs> Resume. Okay.
Uh, is, is he... Hey, motherfucker! Resumed. Don't hit my dog! Are you dead? You are now. I don't know if I got a... Oh, a baseball bat. I don't know if I got a uh, headshot on him, because it looks like he... How come we're not looting this guy? Um, auto... Oh, we just had a big stutter there. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> Stutters are indications in this game that something's happening uh, in this mod. All right, let's check this out. Nice, we got some fragments. What was that? Oh, nice, timer relays. Those are handy to have. Look at all that shit. Very nice. Uh, this is yucca. That's for digging and chopping trees. It's not, by the way, for mining, I found out later. Uh, you want goldenrod for that. Something I saw Ramsey do in his vi one of his videos, uh, which I thought was a really good idea, is he just puts the genetic blueprints up here and locks them because you're always going to, you know, get these. And you might as well just put them in, in a, one slot and just keep them there. And it uh, makes perfect sense. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll, we'll fill these. There's going to be, there's two more types. So once we come across them, um, in fact, Goldie might have, yeah, she loots those things too, but I don't think there's any way I can control which of the two of us, the auto looter gives it to. So we'll, uh, we'll just do it that way. All right, let's check this place. We will be making a new pipe rifle when we get to um, the yellow one so we can put two mods in it. It's going to auto loot? Yeah. I don't know why that other one didn't. That was weird. Oh, Ramsey also left me a comment. I forgot to respond to it because maybe it was on Discord. I don't know, but... He said I should have the trader jobs at Wrecked, and he doesn't. He said something like he doesn't know why they're not showing up. So, hopefully, that's a a bug that can be fixed soon. Um. All right. What do we got here? This is. Oh, that's a that's a, a triple skull too. All right, let's go look at the crack book. Okay. Is that a bandit or a survivor? And how do I know that? Is there any way to tell that? I mean, if he starts attacking me, obviously I'll know, but... Okay, so he must be a survivor because he's not attacking us. Or my dog. I guess. Hey, hey, are you friendly? Yeah, he's friendly. Okay. This is, is this a two or a three skull? It's a two skull. Okay. Might be worth our while to go in here. Um, thing is, though, is we're not, I'd almost rather find a hardware store at this point because we'll have a good chance of getting the propane tank. Um, I just don't have very much ammo right now is a problem. Resume. Let's put him back, or Goldie rather, back on resume. Pop and pills. I have no ammo. <laughs> well, I got some arrows, but we don't have any skills in that shit. Um, oh, okay. So let's let 
Connor duke it out with this guy and see how things turn out. <laughs> is this guy like super tough or is he just big? <laughs> Connor's taking some hits, but he is going down. Okay, let's have Goldie help here. Oh shit, stay away from me. Poke you in the ass. It's a big ass. Yeah, this guy is definitely a tough motherfucker. Thanks, man. You want a bandage? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Okay. We got some... Oh. Sorry. Wrong button. Uh, we got some ammo out of the deal, so... <laughs> I admit, this mod is crazy. Uh, okay. Let's pick up this tire. That's either a truck or a heavy duty. Let's see. It is a heavy wheel. Okay. There's the daycare. Uh, let's siphon gas out of here. Um, I think maybe it might be a good idea for us at this point to stay more in the residential area until we get a little bit stronger. There's some miso. Another cooking pot. See, now we're going to find them left and right, now that we don't need one. That's the way it goes, isn't it? Uh, I can't... I guess I can't pick those up. We can't pick those up either. This isn't worth anything to speak of. This definitely is. Uh, okay, I think that's it for in here. Let's uh, give you a couple things. I'm going to keep that with me. Let's give you the gas. Uh, we should not even do that at all. I should be hanging, excuse me, onto the stuff that I'm going to more commonly loot and give the less common stuff to Goldie to hang on to. Even that, I would say. Okay, I think that's good. Well, actually, the chances of us coming across another baseball bat are slim to none. So we'll give her that as well. Let's check this car. I guess we already checked the car. We'll grab the golden rod, check the school bus. I want to go uh, see what the the popping pills uh, level is, or tier rather. Hunting for control. Still trying to get used to these buttons here. One thing I've noticed is I have to stop. <coughs> I have to stop moving for a second to do the the mouse button. Oh. The macro. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Resume. Car tire pile. Oh, it's decorative. Okay. Yep, Goldie got him before I could call her off. It's okay. She's just doing her job. Uh, 
Um, yeah, that's a new one. So let's put that in this slot. Halt. Resume. Okay, the, the Towers Lee estate is a three skull. This is probably at least a three skull. Is this house on the hill? Harvest Moon Farm. No. Uh, did we check this police car? I think we did, and I think it's a repairable. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Okay. Shit, that didn't kill him. We still got a little bit of credit for it, though. Just not as much for a kill shot. Resume. One round. I was just, <laughs> I, the timing of this is tricky, man, because I was just ready to hit the button. All right, let's go over this way. I'm just kind of exploring the outskirts right at the moment. We'll deal with this guy over here. He's a police officer. And after this, we might need to pick Goldie up for a little bit and let her heal because she's kind of hurt. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Come with me. Oh, which totally encumbered me. Damn it, I didn't even remember that that was the deal. Okay, well, let's go back to the trader then and we'll sell, do an ammo exchange, and then continue on. I'm not really doing a very good job here of figuring out a horde solution. Um, but we, I need to, to pay attention to that. I know it's only day five, but that's just the whole point, right? I don't want to be at the very last minute scrambling for a solution. I like to be prepared for these things. You know what? I'm being stupid, huh? Let's put her back down so she can carry stuff to the trader for us and we'll just avoid combat. Uh, okay, we're just going to pretend Goldie's name isn't Flash. That's just a figment of your guys' imagination. Her name's Goldie. Okay, let's do an ammo trade. And then a trade trade. Um, I'm going to hang on to the car wheels and stuff until we have four at least. Let's put that in that slot. This is light armor, so we're not going to we're not going to keep it. Car that has no sell price and it's decorative, so not interested. Not I'm not really too worried about stuff like that until we actually get a permanent base, right? We'll sell that and I think I want to hang on to everything else. We'll hang on to the bat just in case I decide to maybe mess with it a little bit. Those slots need to be locked. And yeah, I'm just going to probably keep those in there all the time. Because there's no point in taking them back out because they're just going to fill back up again, you know? The way it works. Um. All right, so we still have four water, so we're in pretty good shape there. Sometime fairly soon here, we're going to have to 
do the quest for the mortar and pestle. Um, I don't think we really need it until we actually become a witch doctor because then we will need it, you know, to make our, our concoctions and stuff. But I'd like to maybe be a little bit stronger before that happens. Let's go back to the base drop off and then we're going to get to the business of figuring out a horde solution. I'm moving all of these into here too, so that way we can track them. And once we hit 100, you know, then we can make a, a new mod. Um. All right, so let's see here. If whatever horde solution we have, how close am I? I'm probably quite a ways off from being able to do a pick, aren't I? Uh, we want to look at uh, mining tools. Yeah, we're... We're, we're a ways away from those. So whatever solution we have, we got to deal with a stone axe for, you know, for any kind of cutting, picking type of work. So with that in mind, we want to minimize having to do any significant modification uh, to a POI. But we should... Uh, where's my... Uh, where's my toolbox? Oh, it's right here. All right, let's pick that up. So that way we can take it with us to wherever we, you know, end up at. And I have, um, okay. Yes. Yeah, so we got some cobble there. I don't think I can make cobble in my own inventory in this. Oh yeah. Right. We have to do that in the forge. The rocks themselves we have to do in this in the shredder, and then we need a forge to make the blocks. Okay. Um, we don't have access to a working cement mixer at this point, so there's no point in grabbing that. Uh, let's take and put one of these on here. Okay. We might need iron for something. Let's grab a... Uh, I don't think I can do anything with these wood logs without the table saw, right? I need... Yeah, I need... Some kind of a workstation to do anything with those. So those aren't really useful to us at the moment. That's all food stuff in there. And I don't think I have anything in those. Okay, so we're... We're really limited at this point with our options here. Uh, let's put the car wheel over here. Oh, I might move those down. Uh, I also wanted to grab the hammer and pliers in case we uh, need those for the toolbox. Okay. We'll put those in there and we see. So it looks like we're eight points below max food. What does this give us? 16. All right. So let's hold off on eating that. We could stand to drink another thing. And why don't we take one of these just to top off our health. Okay, so Horde Knight. What in the hell are we going to do for Horde Knight? I wonder if the Zombos path the same in Rebirth as they do in Vanilla. Now, I don't have Horde Knight Plus turned on. Uh, I've had a request or two to do that. And I might, I'm not going to say yes, and I'm not going to say no, but I just don't feel like I'm ready to, to even think about that sort of thing. Cause guys, I'm not even a witch doctor yet and I probably won't be. Well, I might, I don't know. Um, uh, you know, by the time the horde night actually starts. So we've got to really, I, I want to, I just want to really play it smart, I guess is the word for now. 
Um, we have cleared that place and it's pretty stout. We could try to clear that place, but it's going to be a tier three and I already don't have enough ammo. So it would mostly be melee work. Um, oh shit. God damn it. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Splint. Thank goodness we have the ability to insta heal sprains and shit. Oh, fuck you, sprain. There. Okay. Let's be a little bit careful. <laughs> um, right. So we might actually want to consider taking advantage of this place because we've already cleared it. That place over there could end up being our actual home. And if that's the case, I don't want that to also be our horde base. So let's not worry about that place right now. So this building, what is its general block strength? Okay, so that's 5,000 hit points. That's not. You know, I don't think we ever actually went into the to the garage in here. Those walls are wood, but that's, that's okay. Uh, let's see. Actually, the garage door is back down this way. Are he's almost down here or did we already aggro him? I guess we, yeah, I guess we already... Aggroed them. Okay, fair enough. Let's loot. Oh, look, we got a wrench finally. That was a nice find. And we should be able to repair that with just duct tape. Yeah, nice. Okay, that was a very nice find. I will take it. More ammo for exchanging. And, you know, if it goes without saying that I'm expecting whatever we do do for Horde Knight is going to be, it's going to have to be melee. Uh, unless there's some, some way I can come into a lot of ammunition between now and then. Let's get the wood from this. So, all right, so what we could do th this could be a choke point that we could fight from. We'd have to we'd have to do something about these doors here. Um, in other words, block them off with cobblestone and then what we could do is block these stairs so that the zombies can't get up them, but we can if we need to make a quick escape. Of course, that's going to be difficult with the way this is set up. Is this concrete or is it painted wood? Yeah, that's actual concrete. Hmm. All right. We also have this area here, which, yeah, we've already been down through here, right? Okay, there's another door. What I would probably do is is a toilet worth i i looked at this in the in the purge but i don't remember yeah 16 okay so we'd probably just break this door completely and put blocks in there so it, it's not seen by them as a as a door because they you know the ai likes to target doors and this could be our our main fighting area and then these we this area over here we'd have to to block off somehow 
and then figure out how we could escape to the upper floors if we get overrun. Um, I mean, I could take the time to break these, these out. Take a fucking hell of a long time to do it, though. There's no way to collapse them. And then the other thing we have to consider is if we do retreat to the upper floors, you know, then we're going to have to break all of these off. And are these are actual cobblestone blocks or are they painted? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I only have a stone axe is the thing. I, I don't know if this is feasible right now. It, it could be later. But I'm not so sure that it is right now, just because it would take me so long to break all that stuff, you know? Oh, there we go. Okay. So we have... Uh, what do we need for the bicycle? I've got one wheel, I think, so far. Bicycle. Oh, we could, we could wrench a repairable bicycle. Well, maybe that's the way we'll, we have to do it. But we're, we still have to find a chassis, though, too. Okay. Well, let's be aware of that. I'm going to say, though, based upon the tools that I currently have available to me, that I don't think we can really do anything effective down here. Let's go ahead and wrench these cars and get the parts and, and also clear them. But we'll keep this, you know, we'll keep this in mind for possibly day 14. You know, just depending upon how far along we advance. However, let's not give up on this house yet. So let's go up to the upper floors and see if there's a possible solution there. Because the nice thing about this house is it's pretty stout. It's, uh, you know, unless there's something crazy that's going to happen that I'm not prepared for. Remember, I don't have Horde Knight Plus on. Um, there's no way a seven-day horde is going to be able to bring this building down, so at least we wouldn't have to worry about that, you know. I'm glad we found the wrench. Always a nice find. And thank you, Ramsey, for allowing us to repair it with just duct tape, too. Appreciate it, man. Okay, let's go up here. Um... So there's probably not really any uh, good solutions on this floor. We'll wrench this. Oh, let's wrench the bed too. Get springs, screws, cloth, wood, pipes. Beds are valuable things to wrench, man. Not really any solutions up here either to speak of. I wonder if we could make a way for them to get up here, but block them in so they can't get all the way up. Hmm. Another option is I could, we could try the tower. Well, the tower, when I say the tower, I mean the one that I did, that I did in my vanilla series, but here again, I just don't really have the capability to, to build anything significant right now. So we need a simple solution that doesn't require a ton of building. Okay, let's let's look around some more. I'm not. I'm just not feeling this place. Not without more significant ability to to build stuff. I also want to stop back by our base and make some duct tape to repair this wrench because it's just about broken. Let's see if we can get how far we can get on this bed before it breaks. Yep. There we go. Okay. Can I jump over those? Yep. 
That stuff hurt Goldie? It seems like she doesn't... She's not bothered by it. I don't know. What we need to find is a small 5,000 hit point structure that will not require us to do a whole lot of, of building. I mean, this building could even potentially be used, but it is cur our current actual base base, so... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to start... I'm going to put vehicle parts in here. So I won't s s start selling those until we get a... a decent supply of them. That... These two things will take over to the trader. Let's keep the oil for now. That's actually used to make a land mine. Uh, we'll keep the bicycle handlebars and we'll put the extra well actually no let's take the hammer with us um, because I might need it we should be able to make these over in no actually we can set down uh, we can just set down um Wood blocks and upgrade them. Yeah. Get a little more XP by doing that, too. I don't think we ever went in here, did we? Oh, God! <laughs> okay, Goldie. Um, go after that guy. There we go. Quality four. Nice. Okay. Resume. Wait a minute. Quality four? That's green. How do we get to quality four? I didn't even know we were on three. Must not have been paying attention. I know that surprises the hell out of you guys, right? Oh. Resume. I have one bullet left. Let's see if it's enough. Nope. Okay. Resume. Let's go back here. Oh shit, there's a dog there. Alright, uh, I forgot about that. Um Oh, nice work, Goldie. Way to show that fucking zombie dog. What the hell? What is this? Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me so much. I should, I should have been expecting it. Uh, we have no ammunition. Grab this. Dudes, did we just find our new house? Uh, Goldie, yeah, Goldie's. Goldie's in pretty good health. All right, let's go ahead. <clears throat> well, we got Thuggy, Thuggy Wuggy's attention. That other Zeke's not going to wake up.
heard more zombadoodles. Ooh, wow, look at all that stuff. Nice. Come on, 762s. Yes. Uh Wow, there's a lot of Zeeks down here. I am mindful of her health. Don't worry. Ooh, nice. Pre-traffic. That's that's light armor though. Plus it doesn't give us the same thing it would give us in um vanilla anyway. Okay, I'll take those and I will give you that. And you can have all of these gun parts. I already have that blade mod installed here, and I have oh, I guess I don't have anything on the bone kniffy, so we can put it on that. Let's eat this. And I was going to... Oh, right. I was going to put the this on here. Okay. Got some glue. Another grill. And another cooking pot. I wonder what the feasibility would be of us actually trying to live down here. All right. Well, let's finish. Let's finish clearing the place first. Oh, another zombie back. Yeah, right back there. Uh, Goldie, your health is okay. It's not super good, but it's okay. Oh, fuck. All right. Um, I think what we're going to do is this and that. Before we actually, before we engage with those guys, do we have any more back in here? Hey, look at that. Vampire Vigilante. Vigilante, actually. Oh, wait. I shouldn't be doing that if we're going to live here. We want to keep the place nice. Occam's Razor? San Francinto. <laughs> All right, let's listen to some music. Turn it down a little bit here. Okay. Um, I don't want to be stumbling over this, so let's get it out of the way in case we have to make a hasty retreat. There's a big bad in there. And a little bad. Shotgun shells in the bathtub. Who'd have thunk? Let's pick this up, too. Uh, actually, no. Leave it there. Keep forgetting we might live here. I think he isn't he like a, a healer's zone? So I don't know that he's gonna be super hard to kill. Oh, sorry, Goldie. Yeah, we need we need to kill him first, obviously. And I can't get to his head. Not an ammo already? Let them. Uh, shit. Not good. Not good at all. Fucking stamina. Okay, let's, uh. Yeah! <laughs> I know I just pinned myself in, but we're taking a beer. Right. Fuck you. All right, did we kill? We must have killed the healer guy. See, we we have a storage room in here. I kind of like this place, man. 
Is this... Yeah, see, that's all... Cobblestone level. Um... Those shelves are nice looking, but we'd have to take them out because... You know, they're not something we can use. Okay. Some car engines. More building supplies. That's good. Good, good, good. Okay, so here's the thing. If we moved down here, we've we got to have a back door. We have to have a way to escape because if we get overrun, right? Um, kind of a cute place, though. I'm going to think about it. Certainly not a place we want to do the horde at. But it has potential, right? has a little bit of potential, a little bit of charm to it. It would not be very well secured, though, up here if the Zombs... Uh, if we could upgrade this... Yeah, so we'd have to... Oh, shit. Got a bit of a horde out here, and I am encumbered. Get over here. Goldie up here. Uh, no. Oh. Okay, let's, uh, let's do that. Put that in there. Blue and whatever the fuck that is in there. Okay. okay, that's good enough. Okay, let's kill these guys. Resume. Do I have any ammo? I have three shots. Okay, that's not very much. little mini feral booger. Nice. So it's kind of nice that the entire horde just doesn't automatically come after us. That gives us, that gives us a chance to, you know, kind of whittle them down a bit here. Yeah, I think I got that kill. Um, do we have everything we need to make this? We'd have to make some more glue. We have everything else. Um, but if I go up and do that now, well, we don't have enough ammo anyways. Let's just stick with the, the one we have until we can. Oh God, look at what they're doing to the, oh no, the, the horde is bay. Uh, sorry, the trader's invulnerable. So we don't have to worry about that. Okay. All right, there's some more ammo there. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Goldie, uh, come with me. She was just about dead. Ranger full set bonus active. Oh, I got a concussion? That isn't good. We do have a pill for that, though. Uh, shift three. Okay. Hey, 
Now I want to I want to try something. If I put Goldie back down, is she fully healed? She is. Hmm. I don't know. That seems a little cheaty. Uh, here, come here. <laughs> I don't think I should be able to put her in my inventory and put her right back down and insta heal her. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Especially Ramsey. And, you know, I understand that it may not be... It may just be the way the, the code works and that sort of thing. I, I totally get that, but... I just... Uh, I don't know. It seems... Like I said, it seems a little bit of a, of a cheese tactic, even if it wasn't intended. Don't need to loot. Okay, I want to keep these guys with me. We're going to kill all of them if we can. Okay, let's take care of Darlene. Okay, so three power attacks to the head seems to kill a normal Zeke. So we have to remember that. I don't think this guy's normal. I think he might be a little tougher, but let's see what happens. Yeah, he's a little tougher. I am thirsty, so let's fix that because we don't want to have stamina issues. Um, let's also take a ratatouille for a little bit of health and food and all that. Okay. Oh, wow, nice crit. Blue bag. Gonna watch our six. Hey, big hey, mama. All right, let's grab this real quick. Nice. Okay. Okay. So yeah, she was. Zombie Paula, she's a, a normal zombie because we killed her with three hits. Are we losing some of these? All right, let's get this one. gotta be a bleed because he's he's scree crying out and, oh shit he's like groaning in pain like he's bleeding even though i don't see the effect oh is it is the reason i couldn't loot that other zombie because the survivor killed him and not me i bet you that's what it is yeah, see, because I'm not auto-looting him. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, we'll let him take care of it. Let's go back and see if we can pull some more of these Zeeks. Oh, wow. Nice crit. It's a beautiful thing.
Zombie Brody. That can encumber us a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, where's our base? Over that way. Okay. So it looks like we want three hits on the hazmat dudes. And three hits on Zombie Brody. Don't loot him. You don't need to. Note to self. Okay. Well, that... I think that took care of the majority of the horde. So, yeah. I don't know... Uh, I don't know what to think about the Goldie situation. Maybe what we do is we we make a self-imposed rule that if we pick her up, we have to wait five minutes before we set her back down. Maybe maybe that's fair. I don't know. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's, and maybe I don't know how long would it, it how long would it take her to fully heal back up if she was almost dead and then she wasn't touched. I guess that's really kind of the question. Ramsey probably knows the answer to that or, or can give me a good guess. And based upon that, we can kind of determine what's fair, I think, you know. Oh, whoops, sorry. Hit the wrong fucking button there. Okay, are you, you following? Okay, yeah, you are. Okay, good. Uh, all right, guys, so we need to wrap up this episode here. I still don't have a horde solution, so we're really going to buckle down tomorrow and figure that out. But what I want to do before I let you go is let's make this. And how far along are we to even the... Oh, we're almost to the blue. Am I reading that right? Oh, uh, yeah, there's no point in making a green one. Let's just get to the blue. Let's just get to the blue. And then in terms of our progress, we're 77% of the way to the book fragment. You can see that in the lower left-hand corner. It's kind of flashing down there in the little uh, box there. So we are almost to Witch Doctor. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to wait until we can make a blue one because there's no point in making a green one, using it once or twice, and then turning around and making a blue one, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.